hello everyone welcome back in this video we would learn how to solve the java problem if else decision making so first we would understand the question and then we would solve it so let's start basically in this question we are given three conditions first condition is if n is smaller than m then i need to print lesser okay the second condition is if n is greater than m i need to print and the third and the last condition is if n is equal to m then i need to print equal so these are the three condition which i have to work on so basically you can solve this question using if else conditions okay if else you know so it is an very easy question you just need to write the condition is if else if and else and using that you can easily solve this question so i hope the question is clear to you so now let's move forward what you need to do first is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal you need to choose school in the difficulty after that you need to find the practice problem java if is decision making once you find it you need to click on solve so let's solve it one moment okay here is the question given two integers n and m the task is to check the relation between m n right so i hope the question is clear to you now let's code it you need to code it over here okay so i hope it is clear to you so let's start so first we need to start with the if condition right so if n is smaller than m then i just need to print right then i just need to print that lesser right so i would just return with the value of semicolon now this is the first condition right the second condition is else if n is equal equal to m then i need to return with equal one moment very good next is else i need to return with okay so i hope the question is clear to you and you are even clear with the code part so now i would click on compile and run let's wait okay the compilation is completed okay now the small change over here is that the lesser should be in lower case see the l is in lower case so i would just change it one minute lesser equal and g okay now again compile and run let's wait okay the compilation is completed and my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the problem let's wait so the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem java if else decision making so i hope this video was helpful for you and you guys have enjoyed the session if you like the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today thank you